Warning, the following is entirely satirical and should not be taken as truth or fact. Styles Rebel Radio and the Rebel Podcast do not own any copyright material that may be included in this broadcast. Viewer discretion is advised. You think it's kids now? Oh, yeah. Suspend the show right now. You're going to zip line directly into the harpoon? Yes. What do you know about planes? I know a lot about planes. Buckle in, dude. It's going to suck. Put your hands on the screen. How did they find out? It's... Who was the one? This show has gotten infinitely more gay. <laughs> the mystical land of New Jersey. Uh, I don't understand how the laws yeah. in this country work anymore. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Rebel Radio Show, live, uncut, and uncensored on WSRR Radio, your home for independent and underground music. To my right is Shani. Hey, everyone. On the board is Jules. Hello. I'm Radio's Rebel DJ Style, and we'd be remiss if we didn't open the show talking about one Orthal James Simpson. I did it. Uh. I killed him. You can put more in and post. Too, but, <laughs> no, yeah. that's it. <laughs> you get three lousy claps. He's I added one him. was your own. <laughs> <laughs> He's added to the list of the royal family. Yeah. So OJ yeah. fucking died, right? <laughs> yeah. He he, he kicked was the can. Seventy six. Yeah, died of cancer too. I didn't know that he had cancer. Died I, of karma. I feel like that's how it goes with people who die of cancer that are famous. You don't know that they had cancer, and I feel like I feel this like guy's we never knew. seen Breaking Bad a day in his life. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel enough. like we knew uh, OJ had cancer like a long time I didn't ago. Know OJ had yeah, cancer. Maybe I just didn't pay enough attention, didn't care enough. Fair it's enough. Just, you know, I mean, it's OJ. Why? It's just yeah, Orenthal. <laughs> it's just old Orenthal James. You think you think OJ ruined Orenthal as a name, kind of like Hitler ruined Adolf? Like you can't really name a kid Adolf anymore, right? I think Orenthal is just a really shitty name. I mean, you're you, not wrong. What kind of nickname do you like? He, OJ. He OJ. had to have a nickname. He had to have a good middle name that allowed him to have a good nickname. Otherwise, he would have been fucked. Ori. Ori. You call him Ori. O. A big, big o. o. A big O. A big O. Why weren't we calling him Big O instead of fucking OJ? Because he was the juice. Yeah, but he died. So rest in peace, I guess. Um, it's funny to meme on him. He killed people. So killed two people. He didn't. It's not proven. Nah, I mean, he definitely. He now that Listen, now that he's dead. Now that the gloves are off. Now that the gloves are off, I think I can let the meme die. And I can say, OJ o. Simpson definitely murdered. Ladies and gentlemen. People. We got him. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> he killed people. I can admit it. I watched the Netflix docu-series with David Schwimmer. I didn't. still haven't. It's very good. It's so funny. I saw a meme the other day. It was like... Uh, a picture of OJ and Kim Kardashian, and it mm-hmm. was like, uh, you need to be a United States citizen to... Uh, yeah? Or you have to know the connection between these two to be a United States oh. citizen. <laughs> I butchered it, but... No, 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 I get it, I get it. You <laughs> have to be United States. Is, are we live on YouTube, yeah, by the way? Yeah, that's, that's another crazy thing, is like, the Kardashians' fame is pretty much solely from... OJ, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, the it was Rob Kardashian. Right, right, right. Who was also dead, right? Yes. Yeah, he passed, but like I think he he it wasn't anything nefarious for him. No. He just kind of died one day. He you quit, don't we don't know that. We don't know if OJ like <laughs> OJ might have got no, him too. We, do we know that? He definitely OJ would not kill Rob Kardashian. He was uh, He knew too much. He, he got lawyer. him off. Yeah, he well, got him off. <laughs> he acquitted. That happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I just think it's interesting. So OJ died what? A couple days ago? Friday, something yeah, like that? Yeah, he died uh, April 10th. So five days ago mm-hmm. uh, at the time of recording. Live Monday, 5 p.m., the Rebel Radio Show, WSRR Radio. You yeah, get there at stylesrebelradio.com or live 365. Um, so he died five days ago, which my first thought was, oh, he died on a Thursday because I'm like, we need to post a Thursday clip on Instagram at WSRR Radio. Yes. Um, and I, I reached out to Sam, who does our, our videos and stuff and our graphics. And I'm like, hey, I know there's an OJ clip. We talked about him like four years ago. Can you go on YouTube and just cut that clip and send it to me so I can post it? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I know we talked about OJ. It was a whole thing. There was edits in it. Send it to me. Uh, I didn't know we talked about OJ dying. That whole clip is us talking about OJ dying. Oh, really? Yeah. Listen. He was bound to die, and we just were ahead of the curve, all right? He was bound to die. <laughs> At some point. We reported you could it say that about anything. Ago. It was going to catch up to him eventually. We're basically TMZ. No, he, he had they're two, always on it. We he had two on really. his plate, you know? So he had it coming. Possibly three. I'm not, oh. dro- I'm not dropping his lawyer. 
the Car- Mr. Kardashian. Is his name Kardashian? No. Yeah, yeah Rob, Rob Kardashian. Kardashian. I don't know who yeah. this man is. I didn't watch the fucking OJ trials on. Yeah, wait, hold on. It's just minor, minor segueing the topic of discussion. Yeah. Is the Kardashians' fame really built up on OJ Simpson? So Pretty much. Basically. Like, it was the. Well, okay, I guess Kardashian married. Um, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner, and he was now famous. Caitlin. Now Caitlyn. But but hang on, let me let me enact my Trevor Moore knowledge here. Sure. Because if I'm not mistaken, the first claim to fame this family ever had was because of O.J. Simpson, because the dad was the lawyer, right? Yes. That was the first time we'd ever heard of of these people. Yes. These people. Yes. Uh, the Kardashians. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but then, he was already. The thing about that, though, is like he was already, Rob Kardashian was already a big name lawyer in yeah. L.A. Okay. And so and also, he was like feel, a showbiz lawyer. Yeah. I feel like pseudo then you are kind of famous. OK, sure. If you're a big famous lawyer family, you're already famous. And then if you live in L.A., that only compounds it. You know right. what I mean? So but, they were probably already had some notoriety to them. But, but then after that and before uh, Bruce Jenner was the sex tape, right? No, 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 no. Bruce no? Jenner was before the t- before. sex tape. Yeah. Bruce Jenner was before the sex yeah. tape. Way Bruce before the Jenner sex- has been in the Kardashians Dude, life for a very long time. The sex tape is like one of the last things I That's think. That's not true. Of, yeah, it yeah, was in just terms the, of fame. It was like, just the biggest pop guys, for I mean, them, I think. Clearly I have not been keeping but up. You really no don't no, no, no. <laughs> OJ no, and the you Kardashians have were friends long before he killed Kimberly. He didn't. He did. He did. He really um, did, though. And he killed her boyfriend. If he did it. Because, no, he did. Because there are people out there that suspect that his son did it, and he was covering up for his son. Jake, I still think that Jake he did is it. one of those people. I still and think he that talks he did about it. that a lot. Yeah, no, he did it. I don't think his son did. I think OJ did it. OJ did it. Yeah. I think OJ did it. But also, there's a sub like. There's theory. a subreddit. It's called r slash <laughs> wsrr. You can join it. Let Check us know if OJ did it. There's a sub theory that. Um, Chris well, Jenner. I've heard the sub theory. Six Slept. billionaires go missing in the ocean. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Good luck, pal. <laughs> Listen, there's a, a sub theory that Chris Jenner actually slept with OJ before uh, marrying Bruce and while Rob was still alive, and that he is actually the father of Khloe Kardashian. I've heard that, and I don't buy it. I kind of buy it. Before plastic surgery, she kind of looks like OJ. Eh, I don't buy it. I think that they're all Rob's kids. Cause then, uh, Deirdick, yeah. Jenner, <laughs> yeah. Kardashian. Kardashian, Kardashian, Kardashian. Why are some of them okay? Bruce Jenner, right? Sorry. I'm... So, but I, but okay. I do, I do 100 percent see the resemblance, and I've seen like side by side pictures, and I'm like, okay, I, I see what they're and getting at. She looks the least like her family. Yeah, but then she, but then explain, um, what's the younger one than that? Uh, Kylie and Kendall. No, no, no. Chloe. No. Um. Kim. Um. The other one that married the drummer. He was all... Travis Barker. <laughs> Kendall. No. no. Uh, Kim, Chloe. Courtney. 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 Courtney was younger than yeah, Chloe. Yeah, but Rob was still alive. So you're telling me that she, she goes... on Rob with OJ. I don't buy Chloe, that. Had Chloe. I don't buy then that. Then slept with Rob again. You're you're drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> I'm not drinking. You're the drinking the Kool Aid. You're drinking the drama Kool Aid. Welcome back Listen, to, to keeping up with the Kardashians <laughs> on the Rebel Radio Show. O.J. Simpson killed people, and then he wrote a book about it. He wrote a book called "If I Did It." No, he wrote a book called. Oh no, it is called "If I Did It." <laughs> I thought it was called "I Did It." All right, the cover of the book. In, it says "Did It" in very big, in text. plain bold letters. Says "I Did It" in with big a bl- red text with a bloody footprint. <laughs> so. <laughs> And that's the other thing. I think he was very on the nose about like the fact that people knew yeah. that he murdered people and that he got away with it. Well, so my 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 whole point about bringing the clip up is because I went back and watched this clip from like 2019. Like mm-hmm. we were still in the old studio. We weren't on the radio again yet. I'm pretty sure we we're still just doing the podcast. Yeah. Um. So I went back and watched this clip from 2019. It's on the YouTube, and we talk about the fact that OJ's gonna die someday, and both of us had different theories on like. I think he's going to, you know, right before he croaks, he's going to be like, I did it and yeah, die. And I'm yeah. like, I think he should just slip on a glove right before he dies. <laughs> and there was no one there. Of all the times to have publicity around someone's death, no one was there. Yeah. I'm just saying, TMZ dropped the ball here. He had cancer. TMZ just, dropped the ball. You just slip, you just he, was, he was in the hospital, the wasn't he? You just slip into the night. I have no idea. Listen, I'm not advocating for, for paparazzi at someone's death. 
I'm just saying, when you may have killed two people, and you're the only one that's going to, you know, come out and say, hey, I killed those two people, it might be the time to have some cameras around. There's been a uh, lot yeah, of TikToks of people joking about, like, the nursing staff next to OJ's bed at the end of the, the yeah, very end yeah. where he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prediction. Do we get some kind of, like, OJ diaries that come out that's just like him, like, oh, I killed these bitches. That would be awesome. I read there was a guy, I read this on, I want to say it was U, USC. It was some college. Whatever, I'm assuming whatever college OJ Simpson went to. Um, some guy was an athletic trainer or something along those lines, worked in the athletic department and found out that OJ Simpson and a lawyer had paid off the college so that he could play during these or during the upcoming season because he had like sexually assaulted some women. So oh. he like just paid off the college. He had a, he bought a lawyer and paid off the college so that, that he could. And this is Orenthal. This is Orenthal. Okay. Um, and he just had verify. he had the entire athletic department sign an NDA saying like they couldn't say anything about it. So right after he died, this athletic trainer really? like posted on the subreddit, just like, "Hey guys, by the way, I signed an NDA all these years ago, but this fucker's dead. I can tell you guys the story." And at the end of it, he goes like, "That's the kind of power money." Like, have you heard the story before? No, that's the kind of power money can buy. Well, that's, like, damn. Well, that's the thing too, man. I know you guys want to dismiss that Orenthal took out Robert. However, Orenthal v. Robert in, in the case of Minnesota. However, um, that's a thing I made up just now. Sure. <laughs> um, it just sounded official. Yeah. However, because Orenthal is no longer here. No. And Robert is no longer here. Sure. No one can tell this story. If, if OJ paid off Rob Kardashian and was like, hey, you know I killed these guys, mm -hmm. but I need some good defense. We can't wait for like Rob to come out with the story now and be like, yeah, no, he fucking did it. I just, you know, I was under an NDA because I was using my legal representation. You know, we you, don't get that now. If I subscribe to the theory that I'm only Chris not subscribing. Cheated, listen, sorry. listen. Yeah. If I subscribe to the theory that Chris cheated on Rob with OJ, oh, and then <laughs> Rob got OJ off for the murders, and then Rob found out OJ slept with his wife, Rob wanted to go say, hey, OJ killed these people. And then OJ killed him. I just want to point. Cool. I just want to point out that Style has no idea how Rob Kardashian died. No, that was esophageal cancer. Oh, so <laughs> you think you think OJ is up there in his esophagus, just putting some putting some cancer cells in there, just placing them meticulously in the night. Oh, it's his esophagus, right? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you think he's blowing like, cancer yeah, cells yeah, down yeah. into his lung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we know if OJ was a smoker? <laughs> Was OJ just smoking directly into Rob Kardashian's mouth? Do we know he wasn't? I'm not taking this. I'm just saying, do we have any proof that he wasn't doing that? I don't think that OJ Simpson gave Rob Kardashian esophagus cancer. All right. Well, I'm just say, you can't I'm just say putting concrete uh, evidence. I'm just putting my putting my flag, what putting my stamp on what it. What kind of cancer did OJ die of? I have no clue. Killed two people like us? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it doesn't say. Prostate. 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 Is... That's near the esophagus. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't think so. It's near the butthole. <laughs> your prostate's really long. It doesn't reach your esophagus. <laughs> but your esophagus is relatively long. Yeah, it doesn't. It depends on the person, not I guess. How, that is not how either of those body parts <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> all right well listen all i'm saying is oj probably killed more than two people uh but we'll never know now because because not rob deerdick rob kardashian is uh also no more so who else could have this trade secret other than his kids that were apparently there right you think his kids now oh yeah there was um well Don't obviously you didn't see the documentary no. but there was a point where oj was literally hiding in kim's room i like, forget how many kids he has which one rob OJ. Orenthal. Oh. Orenthal. Yeah, Orenthal has at least two kids. Well, including Chloe, three. Listen. And we're not. Not including I'm Chloe, not actually. Including Chloe. Also, like That is a fan theory, <laughs> not canon. Fanfic, not canon event. Um, I think it's crazy that, you know, we've all as a society kind of ruled that OJ was a bad dude. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was probably a murderer. Yeah. Yet we don't dislike him enough or have enough uh vigor in his name to not call him Orenthal and continue to call him the nickname <laughs> OJ or the Juice as a community. Yeah. Why did he go by I mean 
it was. He didn't have to do that. He could have went by Orenthal. Maybe he just didn't like it. Orenthal is his murder when name. When he was in uh, sports, it was a nickname that was given to well, him. Well, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying. So he just went on with it. After football, you know, after he murdered two people, maybe we drop the juice moniker and start calling him Orenthal again. That's the other thing. I think I, you've lost that privilege. He was acquitted. I think John Wayne Gacy lost the privilege of being Dinkles the Clown or whatever the <laughs> fuck he was. So he started eating people. All right? I think, I think that's oh, where we draw the line. He didn't eat people. He killed people. All right. And assaulted them. 216-859-8699. Let me know if OJ did it. Hey been a while since you've heard from me. This is Jeff Stritch, and you can catch me on my new show, Strictly Stritch, on stylesrebelradio.com or anywhere you get podcasts. Hey, that's right. New name, new podcast, new attitude. Listen, it'll be good. Everybody, this is the Pidge, and I'm here to tell you that I hate everything that you send me, but I love it at the same time because holy shit, uh, that's all I gotta say to that. If you guys don't know me, I'm the Pidge, and I'm one of the members of the Styles Rebel Radio page. You probably won't hear me as much on the Rebel Podcast because I'm away, away, away in Arizona, but every month I come out with the show, submit your stuff into the Styles Rebel Radio Discord page under the pigeonhole section, and it will be featured on the next show. Unless there's racial slurs. See ya. The Artificial Intelligence Podcast is the only show written, voiced, and scored entirely by AI. All episodes are available now on stylesrebelradio.com. Styles Rebel Radio. Read the sign. 15 for dudes, girls get in free past 7. It's the show responsible for putting Orthol James Simpson six feet under. Yeah, baby. Welcome back to the Rebel Radio Show. This time, the glove fit. Bitch. <laughs> that video is still fantastic. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He was so He's on the funny. nose about He's a funny it. Guy. He was so on the... No, he's, he was hilarious. No, he's nah, a funny you know, guy. You know, apart from the murder, he was he was pretty good. Funny guy. Great football player. Yeah, I was just so like... Ran for a lot of yards. Do you actually know what he did, OJ? He killed people. <coughs> 11,000 rushing yards. Yeah, 11,000. 11,000. He was, he was insane. He was literally a robot for I get his it. time. I don't know what that means. I get it. I get he was why. a huge football player. Cool. It's like he had ketchup on his feet or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly like that, actually. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and segue into the next. Go ahead and segue <laughs> then after that one. Because that was good. You, you deserve I wanna, it. I don't want to. Go ahead. I don't want well, to. I liked it, and I no, think that you. I don't want to. I want to forfeit it. <laughs> I thought it was good. Re- go ahead, read the title. So Heinz innovates the first ever catch up insurance policy. <laughs> it's almost as if you were to have catch up on your feet. <laughs> Like almost similar, like quite OJ. similar. Yeah, 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 like OJ. That's why they call them the juice, tomato juice, yes. ketchup. In fact, yes, um, ketchup. They call them old ketchup feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, for short. People, people. Okay. People think it's you know because OJ orange juice, not not so ketchup on his feet because he was so fast, he was slick. And they so, would say, "Oh, geez, look at the ketchup on his feet." <laughs> And so it stands for the OGs that everyone would say when they saw the ketchup on OJ Simpson's feet when he would Same run with the football. That it happened to be on his other shoes when two people happened to be murdered. Oh, welcome to segment two, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. This is only segment two <laughs> of six. Oh. Uh, so Heinz instituted the world's ever ketchup insurance policy, world's first ever ketchup insurance policy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can file insurance claims on your Heinz 57 ketchup. Um, bing, and get bing, your bing. money back. Bing, 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 bing. We have a uh, we have a special we have a special cozy report from the newsroom. Bing, 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 bing. Ba, 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 um, <laughs> this is in Heinz Arabia, by the way. So they can't insure us. Our ketchup is uninsured <laughs> right now, guys. I don't know if you know this, but uh, our ketchup's uninsured. <laughs> you know, I'm not. 
I'm not the most on the pulse with what's going on in the Middle East. I know there's some fighting going on. Yeah, no, neither I don't know about Arabia. Neither am I. I'm <laughs> However, yeah. I feel like there's bigger issues that foot than ketchup insurance. Yeah, they should uh, insure other things. Yeah, maybe human lives. Yeah, like maybe pe- like maybe the people that safety of yeah. the people. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> But ketchup, that's a hill to die on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. no Heinz in Heinz Arabia? Yeah. Is that so, where Heinz ketchup is from? I don't know. I, I hope not. I thought not. Heinz was the family name. Yeah, I thought Heinz. Heinz sounds, like, to me. Richie and Margarine Heinz. This may Margarine. actually be all over She's the just place. just butter ketchup. Because I literally just <laughs> you know, looked up. other nickname. <laughs> There's HeinzKetchupInsurance.com. Is that an American website, though, or is that like... In Arabia. Well, it's dot com. It's not dot ar. So, it's fair enough. Fair enough. Everything. Everything's in English. You can have English or Arabic. Oh, okay. Put, put in Arabic. So I wonder. Well, no, don't. No, that's not gonna help anything. <laughs> it's not gonna like do anything <laughs> to the website. It made it Arabic. Well, it did. That. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Yes. It's, it's all in Arabic, my friend. No, nah, it is. <laughs> I see you, that. If you haven't guessed. No, nah, I see that. Shane's going to have to be the straight man today because <laughs> I can't fucking keep it together about <laughs> OJ and I. <laughs> so, uh, but there is, there's a list, and I know I was looking at it before we came on, mm-hmm. uh, but oh, I don't yeah. have it here. There's a list of insurable instances for your Heinz ketchup if you're in Heinz Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> So one of them was like the big score. Oh, you got it here? here yeah, it's yeah. right here. Read, read, it's right read, here. Read some of these insurance claims that you can get out of Heinz Ketchup. So the first one here is <laughs> the Mega Squeeze, which is the uh, claimant, claim, claim, the claimant. I don't know laws. The claimant, yeah. The claimant attempts a Mega Squeeze of Heinz Ketchup, causing ketchup to disperse in all directions. All right, well so that's th- th- when you squeeze the bottle too hard. That's user error right there. That is not user, to Heinz. That is user error, and the fact that Heinz is covering you for that is you need to get on that right now. Heinz, I'd squeeze. I'd say, oh, I squeezed all my bottles. Give Heinz me more free ketchup. Heinz may believe that that's a uh, like a, a nozzle issue. Hang on, real quick. Mm-hmm. I want to read Heinz's. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their their terms. Their pitch. Yeah. Okay. Because like this is again, this is a weird thing to roll out. And like, I don't. Do you have to pay for this, or is this? <coughs> no. When you first brought bono? when you first brought it in, I I'm still very on the fence about this. This all seems a little bit like PR. We get it. No ketchup tastes like Heinz. It's the Everest. The E equals M C squared of tomato sauce. So we can't blame you for loving it so much. So much that you squeeze the bottle a tiny bit too hard or rip the sauce with too much gusto. <laughs> and there they much, are. A little too much verve in that ketchup squeeze. or The <laughs> the spills, the splats, the splotches. But we have the solution. Unique insurance coverage for all those little oops and oh no's and yikes. We understand the emotional and physical toll a ketchup calamity can take, but also understand that it's worth the risk and has to be Heinz. So if you find yourself in a sticky situation, know your rights and will right the wrongs. That's you. you no, know, you can go with HeinzInsurance.com. Yeah. Is that what it is? HeinzKetchupInsurance.com. You, can, you, it, like you can fill out a claim, full name, contact number, email address, incident details, date of incident, location of incident, time of incident, Heinz product involved, description of the incident, picture of the incident. Uh, and then you can add your damages. And there seems to be... Uh, 57 claimable damages. That That's could, awesome. Very nice. <laughs> That's, I mean, hey. Things like red alert, crusty leftover, make it rain. Uh, <laughs> I don't like any of these. Crusty crimson, leftover. Crimson Tide, the freak out time. Ew. Bloody Mary, Ew. low-key Ew. anger. What is happening? Sneaky leaky. No. Ew. I can't read about that one. Don't say that. <laughs> Number 47, if you claim a sneaky leaky, the claimant suddenly craves a midnight snack, and in the darkness of the night, they grab what they believe to be ranch dressing. The result? A plate full of bright red ketchup instead. Oh, no. The sneaky leaky. What do you... Okay. So then if you fill this out, what do you think you get? Ketchup? <laughs> I think you get ketchup, Shane. Or you get a replacement item of the thing that the ketchup ruined. Uh, All right. Let me, let, me, let me read some of these terms and conditions. <clears throat> Number one, ketchup insurance only applicable to ingredients that fall under one of the 57 claims as featured on HeinzKetchupInsurance.com. Number two, incident involving Heinz ketchup qualify other condiments simply are not our jam. 
Number three, accidents only. Intentional ketchup catastrophes are not covered under the Heinz insurance. Uh, you may be found guilty of the jury of the Heinz Ketchup Tribunal. Oh, God. Number four. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Claims must be submitted within 57 hours of the incident, just because. There you go. Uh, number five. All your details will be handled in security, just like our Heinz 57 secret recipe. In secrecy. Oh, secrecy. You have to sign a digital contract, too, to sign up for this. That's pretty sick. That's very in depth. Yeah, yeah. So they just send you like a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> I, honestly, that's that same one I've seen. Is like that, I, they're not going to reimburse you. I don't like ketchup at all. So <laughs> yeah, you know what are they going to send? What really are they going to send like me? What are they going to send me? So I already found a flaw. It said that you can't involve other other condiments, but. Number whatever, the sneaky leaky was if you reach for ranch and, and you're, grab your then, Heinz 57 yeah. ketchup instead because you're spilling your Heinz 57 ketchup and you didn't want to use your Heinz 57 ketchup. You wanted um. to use ranch, so you've wasted your Heinz 57 ketchup on a product that needed <coughs> ranch. Not sponsored by Heinz, but, but we'd, we'd like, like to be. be. I don't like ketchup, so I'm not saying that shit. I make other stuff, Shane. I don't care. Maybe, maybe I was gonna say if they had because they here's, make mustard. Here's where I don't like mustard either. I don't, like mustard. Mustard. I don't like mayonnaise. I'm not a big condiment person. I like ranch and like cane sauce. I don't think they make cane sauce. I'm There's like, ketchup in cane sauce. Like that's about it. That's about that's about stretches my condominiums. However, you may be claimed on the num- other number twenty five, um, the ketchup kiss. Oh, the claimant finishes their meal but is unaware that they have ketchup around or on their lips. You can claim that. What's this is a joke, you, right? Yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> this is all like a PR joke. But then do you actually get a bottle of ketchup? If it's a PR joke, why is it only available in where the fuck? Arabia? Uh, Saudi yeah, Arabia? In Arabia. It what? didn't say Saudi Arabia, so I think that there might be a difference. I'm and the I wrong person to ask. Yeah. Sorry to all of our Arabic <laughs> listeners. Yeah. Two one six eight five nine eight six nine nine. Let me know what the ketchup policy is. Uh in Saudi Arabia. Well, in just Arabia. <laughs> in Arabia. <laughs> Let me know what the ketchup policy is where you are. Please. What's your what's your ketchup policy? Let me know if you've ever had one of these 57 ketchup incidents. And the thing is, I've tried ketchup multiple times. Yeah. I've tried I would expect you're you're 23 years, 24 years old, Jay, and I would expect you to try ketchup. I want to like it. I would like it's not something that I don't want to like. It's just very sweet, and I don't think that's the kind of sauce that I want with my fries. I would it's rather not have good. like ranch. It's not good. I prefer ranch. I'm not a ketchup on, guy. On uh, scrambled eggs. That's wrong, no. and you should be put in federal prison. I put there? hot sauce on my scrambled eggs. Also, should be put in federal prison. There oh, are people good. who put ketchup on mac and cheese. Yeah. Federal prison. Yeah. I Ke- if if we're gonna have insurance for ketchup, we need federal regulation for ketchup. But well, they do. They have the tribunal. I need to appeal to the tribunal. Heinz Tribunal, I'm talking to you. <laughs> the ancient Heinz Tribunal. Let's let's work with the US federal government to put these people behind bars where they belong. I want to sign up for this, but I don't I haven't ruined anything with my You don't ketchup. live in Arabia. I also don't have ketchup. We don't have ketchup in the Ketchup's fridge. gross. <laughs> ketchup is not good. Yeah, ketchup is okay. not good. So we're all of the agreement that ketchup is just not necessary. Like it, it's okay, not necessary. if you if you yeah. eat french fries, would you Dip them in, in ketchup. I'm Some ketchup. Times. They have to be bad fries. Oh really? I never. I don't. I just purely don't like the taste of ketchup. I think it's too sweet. Every so often, mm-hmm. fries and ketchup is okay. I don't like things. I'm like I will raw dog fries. Yeah. To the point too, where too. I've thought about it in public. Like I've seen people at McDonald's getting ketchup and yeah. dipping their fries. Where I'm like, oh yeah, people do that. Right. I forgot that that's like. Technically, how you're supposed to eat that right, right, right. is the perception. Right. You're supposed to dip your fries in ketchup. That's like what you think of when you think of eating french fries is Not you me. dip them in ketchup. No, no, no. But like that's, yeah, you know, that's the, the meta. Uh, that's the poster of what eating french that's fries That's what would big be. ketchup has done to us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is what big ketchup but, yeah. has done to us. Damn. We're all under the guise. Really, you need to be. Well, see, the thing is about that, though. I like ranch dressing with my fries. So am I crazy? Yes. 216-859-8699. Do you dip your fries? Hey, everyone. Shaney here, the host of that show. Off air. 
Check me out 3 p.m. weekdays on WSRR, Styles Rebel Radio. Hey, Style here to remind you that StylesRebelRadio.com is a group of free content creators. And because of that, you may have noticed that we don't do a lot of ad spots between our breaks, and that's intentional. We're not here to shill out to off-brand cereal or promote crappy mobile games. We strive to give you quality, professional content without the repetitive marketing. That being said, if you like what we do and want to support the shows, you can always click the link in the Spotify description to help support us for as little as 99 cents a month. Now back to the broadcast. I was trying to think during the break of like what other things normal people put ketchup on. And like hot dogs. fucking normies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you put on your hot dogs, normies? Yeah, so like hot dog is the only thing that came to my mind. And I'm like, John Mellencamp never once mentioned ketchup. So it can't yeah, be right, right. Right, Just chili and cheese, baby. Down That's by all the you need. Suck That's that all you need. bitch dry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, suck all the chili right off that thing. That's, is that, that's how you eat a chili dog, right? I suck I suck off the chili and the cheese first, and then I just kind of nibble. Suck down the dog, yeah. Yes, I slurp Suck down the glizzy. <laughs> right down the gullet, yeah. down the hatch, you know? Sometimes I regurgitate it fully, wholly back up. Bun and all? Catch it. <laughs> Catch it in my hand. Throw it right back down, baby. <laughs> and then I say, I'm going to need the glizzy insurance because yeah. it came right back up. Yeah. Give me another. Yeah. Ship me a glizzy. Ship me a glizzy. I want a hot glizzy. dog in an envelope in the mail. At my house, oh, at the Tasty Freeze. A, a wet hot dog in the envelope in the mail right now. would so, be delightful. Sounds like it at the spot. I know what I'm doing after the show. 216-859-8699. Let me know if you want to go get a glizzy. Uh, <laughs> also, if you're watching live on the simulcast on this Monday evening on YouTube, feel free to comment below as well or hit the text line again, 216-859-8699. I won't hit you with paintballs. If you're here on YouTube, like and subscribe. I've always wanted to say that shit. We, and I mean we've it. actually never said that, so there you go. And Shane. I mean it, too. And hit the bell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bitches, we're on YouTube now. Blah. So paintballs, am I right? Yeah, they uh, do things. Tell me about this. What am I looking at? So there's this security camera, and I'm assuming it's a startup company. They don't actually name the... I, I believe it's Paint Cam is the name of the company, but it's a... I've a, seen that website. <clears throat> it's a... <laughs> It's I know a, what you're talking about. It's a face recognizing paintball firing security system, and it essentially looks like a little ring camera that you can like either mount on your patio or on like a on the the roof of your house or yeah. something like that. Where you'd put a security camera, yeah. Right, anywhere you put a, a normal security camera, um, and it detects intruders, faces, unknown faces, and will like notify. There's an app; it notifies your phone. And um, it will shoot. You can. I'm assuming you hit a button, or maybe there's like an auto option, but it then it will shoot a. You can paint, pull it fully auto. Yeah, full, <laughs> full auto. <laughs> but it will shoot a paintball at at the person that you. If it's like an unknown, if it's if it's someone breaking into your house or something like that. Do I like it? Yes. Is it ethical? Questionable. Yeah. But stand your ground, basically. Well, if that's legal in your state. Yeah. That's, tr- that's true. You know, because it depends state by state. Well, I was trying to think, like, does this categorize as, like, an assault or a... It has to. It can't be, like, a firearm charge, but, like... Yeah. It'd be the same as if, like, you walked up to my house and I shot you with a paintball gun, right? It'd be it'd be yeah. assault. Would it, though? Because you're on my property. Well, if you're uh, in Ohio, then you're not going to be at fault. Yeah, right. again, I th- again, I think that that's where it becomes a state by state thing. Yeah. Okay. No, I guess you're. I guess you're right. Because it's just kind of like if you're in Ohio and you do that, you're fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But then if you're in, I don't know, say Michigan, I don't know what it is like. But if you're in like Michigan, or if something, you're in like Texarkana, or Texarkana, or something, yeah. no, that place doesn't. Okay, we're not going to La La Land, hypothetical land here. That doesn't exist. All right, Texarkana, Arkan, Texas, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't exist. We're doing this live. Um, but here's the thing. So my first thought is there's a, if you play Fallout, uh, there's a show out now. If you play Fallout, yeah. there's a, uh, there's we'll a, talk about it on off air. Okay. There's a, there's a defense, uh, thing you can get for like your bases and your camps and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and instead of like using a turret, you can use an auto paintball gun mm-hmm. where it just fires fucking paintballs when there's motion detected. So mm-hmm. that was my first thought. I'm like, it's just that. My second and third thoughts were, how do you store the paintballs in this? And how is it shooting them? Because you don't have like a CO2 cartridge yeah. where it's pressurized. N- normally on a paintball gun, there's a big 
CO2 tank yeah. on, on the end of it, and you have to, like, it's, like, part of the gun, you know? Well, so I wonder where so that is. So these things are just, like, limp falling out at you, like, bouncing off you? But then, so they have, like, test footage videos, and it seems like the face, like, it follows a person very well, so it has good, like, face recognition, but also from, like, the the concept trailer, I guess this is, it shows it, like, shooting at like a semi fast rate and like with like a good PSI like it seems like it comes out fast you know like it would hurt or break I mean I'm sure there's a way you can like force show- them out electronically I just don't think it's going to have the same impact as like a PSI it, I, well, I completely We don't agree. exactly know what the inside of this thing looks like they could have a could be filled sure. with ketchup <laughs> it could be 100% yeah. ketchup in there <laughs> could you theoretically make solid frozen ketchup balls yeah. and have it shoot Solid frozen ketchup balls. Yeah. Because that would deter me a lot more than paint would. I think so. But it would smell. It would be gross. They would red, melt. Thick, thick wood. They would melt and break. Not if I replenish them every night before. Yeah. Me. How, it doesn't, I'm assuming it doesn't say, but like I just wonder how fast this thing will shoot. And like also <laughs> if you can actually legitimately buy this product. Because it seems like right now. It's, it's in just, beta. Yeah, it's 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 beta testing. It's phase. a beta male thing. It reminds me of those um like pet cams that feed the dogs treats. Yeah. Yeah, basically the same technology, right? Yeah. I mean, just way fast. <laughs> Imagine that shooting, <laughs> shooting a treat into the back of your pet's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I use. I just use the fucking treat footage cam and shoot my my. <laughs> intruders with it just load it with paintballs <laughs> i guess that's the thing too is like it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt i think it's more of just like a deterrent of like oh i got hit by something oh, yeah, i should probably stop what, breaking into this house what's hitting me what's yeah. shooting at me right well, what's stopping me from putting like anything else in there that's the same size like rocks yeah i think you can marbles it, it might be harder for it to like shoot out Listen, I'm just saying, if someone's breaking my house, I'd rather hit him with a fucking pressurized marble than a paintball. That thing is a yeah, lot bigger too. than I thought it was. It's beefy. It's yeah. like the size of a water bottle. Like a big, yeah, big metal water, water bottle. Yeah. 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 Stanley cup, is that what yeah. they're called? I thought it was like a small little, like, you know, the inside cameras that you just put on like a high shelf. What's the company called? Uh, It is called the Paint Cam. Paint Cam. All right, yeah, so you can, you can look up Paint Cam and check it out. I, it's an interesting idea. Got I don't hate you. it. Oh, is this a European thing? Never mind. <laughs> Fuck them. Well, then they definitely can't use it because they're not allowed to have fucking guns. Yeah. I wonder if that's a... Is uh, that why? A, a big reason as to why they have shit like this because they don't have fucking guns. Home invasions running rampant in the streets of Liverpool and they don't have any guns. So there's Eve, Eve Plus, and Eve Pro. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like, I don't know how much you... Like, in, in Britain and shit like that, in London, there's like knife... Like gangs will yeah. have like knife fights. Yeah. That's like a common thing nowadays. It's like knife fights because they're comically outdated. What do you? What do you? Like, England comically. Yeah, outdated. yeah, no, they're <laughs> yeah. they're comically outdated, and they, so they, they have to revert to like yeah. having knife fights. They got in like the paper boys and shit out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, it's very strange. They're to eating me. like fucking German U bombers are flying over still. And listen, knife fights are better than than gunfights in the street. That's for sure. There's well, it depends on what you're carrying. <laughs> I guess, yeah, <laughs> I guess. But it all saying, depends on if you have a knife or a gun. In terms of the bystanders, in terms that's of the, true. In terms of the bystanders, there's more safe bystanders in a knife fight than a gunfight. But like, I don't know. Some of those knives go flying. <laughs> <laughs> throwing knives. <laughs> I don't think that this AI camera thing will do very well. Yeah, probably not. I, this probably is not going to be like a mainstream thing. Uh, the camera that can see through people's walls might be though. Well, it's not exactly a camera. All right, whatever. Fucking it's, tell me what it's then. It's basically I, AI. I, I didn't need it's that. like a router, right? So AI. A router. I hardly know her. Hey. <laughs> AI has just figured out how to use your Wi-Fi router and the signals that it bounces around your house to um, predict where you are and basically see where you are and... Just mm. get the layout of your house like a camera would. Yeah, it creates like the Wi-Fi can, because of the Wi-Fi, it seems from what I understand, because of like, like the sonar. Wi-Fi pulses, yeah, because of the Wi-Fi sonar waves, it can like detect what is in the room and like create a 3D model of it almost. Yep, and now they're using AI to basically make your Wi-Fi router a 
camera. Right, right. A a quote unquote camera. Yeah. Yeah. So they're basically just using the signal of the Wi Fi mm-hmm. in like what it's essentially where it's breaking. Where it's bouncing right. off. So, yeah, right. where the line what? is breaking. Right. And it's making that into a model. Yes. This AI module is via your router. Yes. What do you do with this information? That's that's a good question. That's maybe probably my first question. What do you do? Because it's it seems like scary. If you yes. know? if I'm in a van working for a government agency. If I'm in a van down by the river. I'm watching the original Shrek movie with Chris Farley. Amen, brother. Oh. I was gonna say the same thing. It's <laughs> like if I'm outside the Tasty Freeze, you're damn sure I'm sucking on a chili dog. Amen. And you don't even have to question it. Uh, but like if I'm in a van working for a government agency, this might be useful. Yeah. If you're how, like how does this doing benefit a sting me? operation yeah. and you don't have any cameras in, you're like, oh, look at the Wi-Fi router. I don't know about that one. I don't know how much this is going to help in a Chris Hansen scenario. It just seems more dangerous to the average person than not dangerous. Yeah. You know, like it seems it's like working it's working more against me than for me. Right. Especially... Right. I have no use for this and I don't see how this is going to help my personal security. Yeah. So it. So then, because of those two things specifically, it feels more like it could be propped up as a threat. It's like if I'm out of town, right, and I don't have someone watching my house, mm-hmm. I'd be like, damn, I really wish I had a spectral display of people <laughs> yeah, that were yeah. in my house instead yeah. of just a camera that would show me. Yeah, so right, right. My... You already have cameras for your house you that think... you can see on your phone at any time. You think this thing picks up ghosts? My Ooh. first thought was there... This obviously there were scientists that made this um, whole thing. Right, right, right. Scientists there, made this happen. What I saw was science made this thing happen. It, it's a it science looked thing. kind of like a TED talk. It was a guy presenting this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so my first thought is, once they get this information out there, there's all kinds of people that are doing whatever they want with AI, right? Yeah. What is stopping Joe Schmo down the street, Love AI fanatic, sure. from? Hacking into, <laughs> hacking into the Wi-Fi at the Rebel Studios and just monitoring us. Yeah, creating a 3D model of what we look like right and now. what we're doing and just kind of always watching us right. through our Wi-Fi. Right. A VPN, which we're not sponsored by. Oh, uh, but, we, <laughs> but we would like to. <laughs> uh, but, like, what is that? How does that benefit him? He's, and he how could, does he? Well, it, it's a camera into somebody else's house. You can watch assume, and wait for ass- those people to leave. You know where they're keeping their stuff. You know where the computers are, the TVs but are. Like the spot cameras are. Yeah. Thing. They, and they, they ass- already make little micro cameras that you can like hide in a fucking light yeah. bulb or if, something. But how like is Joe Schmo going to get into my house to plant that camera? Secretly. Joe Schmo doesn't he's, have to get into my house anymore. Get, he's planning on getting into my house anyway. That's I guess. the thing. Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to say. There's The, the middleman is cut out. If, There's no breaking in first. If I'm said schmo mm. and I'm breaking into someone's house, right? Sure. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars for this AI module to then try and hack their Wi-Fi well, router. You missed it. I said this specific schmo was an AI fanatic. Doesn't matter. I'm not making a fucking AI module and then on top of that, getting your IP and then getting into your router and then trying to connect the two to see a spectral display that is predictive, by the way. This isn't even like one-to-one scale. It's just predicting where people are going to be based on activity. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to walk up to the window and look and then I'm going to rob the place. Yeah, it's... I'm going to wait till the car is out of the driveway, and then I'm going to go inside the house. It's, That's how I would rob the place. It, it seems like there's they're creating a lot of loops, like or a lot of hoops, for more hoops for themselves to jump through than yeah. they need to. Um, I guess I could see this being used in, like, war or something like that. War where... never changes. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, fucking a, a spy plane goes over... A, a country or something like that and then gets a quick sonar of a specific room or something like that. I, like, I feel like we have that technology already. Yeah, like, maybe. I feel like that's a, that I feel that's what sonar is for. I feel like we can just Oh, there's homies there. Truth. I feel like we don't need to do all this. I, again, this is very much a a thing of like, yeah, we can do it, but why? Yeah. We yeah. have cameras. We have cameras. We don't need to do this. Also, it's interesting that this is a relatively new article, yeah. Yeah. From yeah, the 19th, January. Or it say Jan- okay, from from January. Um, it's interesting that we're. J- this is the first I've heard about this anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but they make 
stud finders for your home that work off the Wi-Fi now. So rather than, you know, look along the wall for a stud and it beeps if there's a stud or shows mm-hmm. a light if there's electric like a normal one does, mm-hmm. they make ones that are that link to your phone and will show you a diagram, like the layout of the wall inside your wall on your phone. That's crazy. Based man. on the Wi-Fi signal bouncing off because it'll show you your water pipes, yeah. your electric, your, your studs. It'll show you the layout of the wall on your phone based off how signals are moving through it. That's been the thing yeah. for a fucking minute. So like... Obviously, this is a thing. It's just a larger scale of that. Yeah. But in the case of a stud finder, it's useful. If I'm not a government psyop agency, then I don't need this. Again, it does more harm than good for me. Yeah, this is like this is used by like stalkers and shit like that. Yeah. You know, like this is used by like the creepos of the world, I guess. But you uh, but again, you have to jump through a lot of hoops to, to do this sort of thing when there are like easier routes you know what i mean i and that's the thing like who would you market this to airbnb because yeah. they're not allowed to have cameras that was uh are they allowed to have paintball guns no because i might have a workaround <laughs> i think i saw that somewhere in the article that they mentioned like airbnb this being good for airbnbs how about don't fucking let people stay in your house then if you're not comfortable <laughs> with people staying in your house it's it's Airbnb's new stance. Airbnb's are the same as self checkout. If you don't trust me to scan my items, don't have self checkout. If you don't trust me to stay in your home, don't give me the invite. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of videos of there's there's a video of this uh, group of people who threw a party at this Airbnb, and then the owner came in and they like started beating him up because they were throwing a party, and he was like crashing it. Yeah, he was like, please don't ruin my house please and they were like fuck you old man they beat him up i mean it's his house yeah how is he in the wrong sort of that's exactly my point airbnb people are crazy if i could have something like this this wi-fi thing to see what was going on in my house without actually having to go in i might use it what's the what's the legality of the cameras on airbnbs you they're not allowed them- you can't have them in the house or you can't have them on the property um i believe like, they're allowed to be on the outside in. But not on the ah, inside. Ain't limited enough. No. Why not? It's not allowed. They have very strict rules. It about, is allowed because they there has been several instances where there's been like little secret cameras in the bathroom. No, hang too. on. I, I I get that. I get you're not allowed to put a camera inside, but you can't stop them from putting it outside and angling it in. Because in terms of public, anything you can film from the street is legal to film. If I am on the street with a camera and I'm filming inside of a bank from the street, completely legal. I am in the public filming. If I own the property, number one, interesting that they're telling me I can't put the camera in the property I own. But regardless, if I own the property itself, I can put a camera on the property and angle it in. They can't tell me I can't do that. I also don't own an Airbnb. <laughs> However, <laughs> if I did, I'd simply put a camera outside. Or I simply wouldn't let strangers stay in my house. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are on cameras for Airbnbs. I would assume that, yeah, you probably can't have cameras inside because that's weird and yeah, illegal probably to just look at other people when they're in a house. But then so I don't know we, about we take We take the first idea and we put it into the second idea. The paintball. Yeah, so we have the paintball camera set up on the sidewalk. Mm. So you see other people coming in and mm-hmm. you're like, nope, they're not coming. Paintball. You're not, you're not allowed. <laughs> No guests. Only these people. <laughs> Enforced guests. Yeah, and it, it recognizes those faces and it doesn't shoot them. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine if OJ had a spectral display? That would be smart. We would have been able to see who is in the house. It would have showed just him and his dead wife. And two dead, it was two dead people, right? Yeah, yeah. His, his, his wife and his wife's lover. Mm-hmm. Or his ex-wife and his wife's boyfriend. boyfriend yeah. yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Old Orenthal. Something Nicole Brown. Kidman. I don't Kimberly. fucking know. No. Something. Something. What was oh, a yeah. hey, hey, uh what was OJ's wife's name, guys? <laughs> Someone let me know. <laughs> I literally just said it in like the very first segment, but now I can't remember. Um and I I don't see the point of the the Wi Fi wall thing, if I'm being honest. The paintball gun seems infinitely more fun. And also OJ Nicole. OJ ketchup foot. Simpson. Yeah. Uh killed two people. <laughs> Nicole Brown Simpson. Nicole Brown Simpson? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Who did you you said someone during the break killed someone? 
A lot of people have killed a lot of people. I don't remember who we were talking about, but you, you busted out some... Oh, Travis Scott. Travis Scott killed people. Yeah, he yeah. killed 10 of them. He, they at named a, Bridge after that guy, too. At a concert. No. The Travis Scott Key Bridge. No. Killed 10 people at a concert. And they gave him a kid's meal. Yeah. Gave him a McDonald's meal afterwards. Why? I mean, if there was a time... And they gave him a Fortnite skin, which is insane. If there was a time for an Orenthal skin and meal... Oh... Uh, an O.J. Simpson skin. Technically, you can make an O.J. Simpson yeah, skin. Yeah, because you can just have the football player, right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just have the football player, put him on the bills. Number Welcome 30, back. Number Welcome 32. back to Fortnite talk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, if there was a time for an Orenthal James Simpson meal. It's right now. It's probably that time. Yeah, comes with orange juice. We're going to have an announcement from his son that's going to be comes with orange juice. <laughs> or it comes with ketchup. We're going to yeah. have an announcement from his son. That's just gonna be guys. We have to uh, we have to make an announcement on behalf of the OJ Estates. He used to like a quarter pounder with extra lettuce <laughs> and honey mustard on it. Uh, <laughs> so we're partnering with McDonald's. Everyone thinks it's like gonna be the fucking admittance of him killing someone. I wonder what's uh, gonna happen to his Twitter. Like, I hope someone takes it over. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I hope like, like Iron yeah. Cheek. Yeah, I hope someone o- just takes OJ it over. tweeting from the grave. <laughs> You think Bronco prices increased or decreased? Increased. Ooh, increased, yeah. for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Cause he put well, it to the test. He showed that the Bronco could go. When when the Broncos came back in 2020 or whatever it was, they were like a huge hit, and I think that it's because of OJ. I mean, we talked about it when they announced the Bronco coming back. Like, I would have OJ as my spokesman. Yeah. yeah. I think OJ is a, is a big reason as to why the Broncos have... The new Broncos have been so popular. I mean, you know? dude, 11,000 rushing yards. <laughs> it's a lot. That's what he's known for. How many yards did he drive? Uh, he had 990 kick return yards. That's what I'm That's saying, lot. dude. That's a lot of kick returns. Yeah. <laughs> Go catch a foot, really. <laughs> Return to those kicks. 2,100 receiving yards. I mean, it's kind of a lot, man, being honest. It is upsetting when they'll have OJ on the show. That's the entire point of him. Hopefully, still kicking. Hopefully, we can get him. Hopefully, we won't have him on the show now. I mean, it'd the be ghost cool. of OJ. It'd be it'd be cool if we did. You think he's listening? I hope. We got to get the spectral camera to see if OJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got to get the spectral Wi-Fi camera. You think those uh, like ghost spectral cameras actually work? You think those are real? Mm, I think that they can pick up. I don't know. Maybe. I guess I would have to like be in in a ghost adventures type situation, like in a deep dark you basement, for it? and like have feel like a cold presence, and then look on the camera, and it's like this. Like ghost. holy shit, that's Millard Fillmore. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, I would have to be in one of those types of situations to be like, okay, ghosties are real. I feel like the, I don't know, because if the Wi-Fi thing is real, right, and it is, because you can put it in your wall. And see your layout. So you your would wall. just say like, "Oh, this is AI." <laughs> I don't know if I felt a if I felt a cold presence presence, and I'm in like a a dark, scary basement. Zach Bagans is there with me, and he's like, "Cool, did you hear that?" I'd be like, "Oh, it's a ghost. I wasn't exactly going to. Oh, it's AI, but you know, two one six eight five nine eight six nine nine. Let me know if you've seen the ghost of Millard Fillmore. Two one six eight five nine eight six nine nine. If you're the pizza dude, you got thirty seconds. The Rebel Radio Show is live at five every Monday right here on WSRR Radio. It's the home of underground music. We're saving the independent music scene, of course. All independent music. We're nationally local. Your favorite bands played worldwide. Twenty four seven three sixty five. 365. You can listen at live365 or stylesrebelradio.com. It's the homepage for all of our great shows like the Rebel Radio Show. Again, 5 p.m. every Monday live or the Rebel Podcast on all major streaming platforms at 10 a.m. every Wednesday. But there's so many other great shows at stylesrebelradio.com like Shaney's Off Air. That is that. That. Okay, do the next one. We're Go doing ahead. some recording tonight for Off Air. Of course, Off Air Recast you can catch at 3 p.m. on WSRR Radio or new episodes as they drop twice a month on all major platforms. We've got the Pigeonhole, Beyond Bound, the AIP, a whole litany of shows at stylesrebelradio.com. Hit the homepage, click around, have some fun. Join us on the Discord server as well. Link to the top of that. And again, 216-859-8699 is that number to text. And until next time, I've been Radio's Rebel DJ Style. To my right is Shaney. Bye, everyone. On the board is Jules. Adios. Peace. <laughs>